It's unknown exactly what guided Donald Trump to suggest that he and his Democratic challenger, former Vice President Joe Biden, should both be drug tested before their debate in Ohio late next month. The president made this suggestion in an interview with the Washington Examiner. Well, it is a prize fight, he said of the debate. It's no different from the gladiators, except we have to use our brain and our mouth s. And our body sick to stand. I want all standing, they want to sit down. It would seem he sees the presidency as the prize. Those who watched Trump's debates with former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the 2016 Democratic candidate, know why he wants to stand. He enjoyed stalking her on the stage. It seems he may want to do that to Biden as well. He called for drug testing before a debate with Clinton as well. Once again, he had no evidence but suggested she'd been on drugs in an earlier debate. We should take a drug test prior because I don't know what's going on with her, he said then. I don't know what's going on with her, but at the beginning of the last debate, she was all pumped up at the beginning, and at the end, it was like, uh, take me down. She could barely reach her car. Her campaign accused him of trying to undermine the election just weeks before election day. He never did get his wish granted for the drug testing. I don't know if there is or not, but somebody said to me, he must be on drugs, the president said of Biden. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm asking for a drug test. Both candidates. Me, too. I take an aspirin a day. It seems he may be looking to exploit whatever medication Biden takes. He's been trying to paint Biden as too feeble and slow for months but his speech last week at the Democratic National Convention showed otherwise. The first Trump-Biden debate is scheduled for September 29 at Case Western Reserve University and Cleveland Clinic's Joint Health Campus. They will also debate October 15 in Miami, Florida, and a week later in Nashville, Tennessee. Vice President Mike Pence and Biden's running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, DCA, will debate on October 7 in Salt Lake City. Trump seems to be hung up on the idea of debating Biden. Earlier this month, his campaign requested either changing the date of one of the scheduled debates or adding another earlier one. He had concerns that people who will be doing mail-in voting will start to receive their ballots before the first debate. The Nonpartisan Commission on Presidential Debates rejected his request. The other two people who were accused of being on drugs this week were Donald Trump Jr. and his girlfriend Kimberly Guilfoyle. After their amped-up performances at the Republican National Committee on Monday night, it was suggested they might be on cocaine. Specifically, Trump Jr. was called out for his sweaty forehead and glassy eyes. He told Fox and Friends host Steve Ducey, I guess there must have been something with the lighting. They started doing this trending thing Donald Trump Jr. s on cocaine and all of that I said, no no no. You have me confused with Hunter Biden. Joe Biden's son Hunter has been known to abuse cocaine and other drugs in the past. The Navy Reserve discharged him in 2013 after he failed a drug test.